Hi, this is Katie Weeks, your independent, close to my heart maker. And today I am joining with the Makers with Heart for another mystery envelope challenge. And this month we received an envelope from Don Haight. And she gave us a few guidelines. We could use white daisy, black, or French vanilla cardstock. We could also use more gold shimmer trim or gold gems, which I did. We needed to stamp on the background paper using any cards, uh, stamp set we want. I used the Maria Season. And we could add more stamped images or sentiments. We could use stickers from the Christmas Story if we had it. And digital art, which I did not use. Here I'm using Make It From The Heart Volume 3 Pattern Number 1 as my inspiration. And I use those four by six uh, pieces of paper. I cut one of them at four and a half inches and the other one I cut at three inches. So I have four by four and a half, four by one and a half, and four by three. And um, in the directions, you had four by 12 inch strips. And I just kind of fooled the eye by making you think that I had 12 inch strips of paper that go all the way through when really I just use the small pieces. Here I'm using the pine cardstock and cutting them at six by one inch strips. And um, some of those I will trim as well. I'm using the gold shimmer trim and here's one of my little tricks. I like to put adhesive on a sheet of scrap paper and then I use that adhesive to pull the plastic backing off of my gold shimmer trim. If I can have a tail on my gold shimmer trim like I did on this roll, then it's even better because then I don't have to fuss with trying to get that uh, gold uh, plastic backing off of the gold shimmer trim. You see that I'm using that gold shimmer trim as if it were one of the sheets of paper like it card called for in the directions. It was just a little bit thinner than what the directions called for. And then I'm using these one by six sheets of cardstock to run across that shimmer trim and below the shimmer trim. Uh, two of the pieces I just cut to kind of fool the eye again because there will be pictures over top of it and you'll never know that those were not longer strips. So here I used the light side of the coffee cardstock and then some stickers from that Christmas story sticker sheet and um, I'm decorating this up and I think I want to try that large poinsettia with some of the leaves. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. So I'm going to use some foam 3D squares and pop this up to give it some dimension. And after I used, this was perfect. Those little circles of foam squares, it had some pointy little pieces and those worked perfect for the little points of the leaves and the poinsettias to get in there. And then I just used a um, little pokey tool to pull off the backing off of all of those tools and it made it really quick and easy as you can see. So then the next thing I do is um, I put down my sentiment square and then I place my poinsettia on it and then I decide that I think I'm going to use some stockings because the sentiment says the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. So I think I want stockings at the top, but this is where I'm going to do my stamped background. I'm going to come in and stamp a, the garland across the top of both sheets of paper. So that's how I'm making my stamped background. Um, I picked out some inks and I only ended up using the Pine and Scarlet and I'm using the Merriest Season stamp set and I just went all the way down through and kind of kept turning that greenery and stamped it across and the page and I overlapped it some and just nothing too straight or perfect because it's garland and um, then I did it to the next page and make sure I'm still kind of lining things up so they'll go together really nicely and um, this was all in the pine ink and there was another thing of pine needles and it was a bigger piece and so I went back over with that one last and just went 
over where I had already stamped. Then after I'm finished type, uh, stamping all of that garland across the top, I come in with my scarlet ink and I stamp some berries across both pages. That gives it a real nice Christmas feel and I have the perfect place to hang my stockings from in a minute. So we received some gold glitter gems. I put the large one in the middle of that poinsettia and I used my journaling pen to draw some lines underneath the sticker that says Christmas traditions. And so about a quarter inch apart approximately, I just filled it in with as many lines as I could. I figured I could come up with plenty of traditions at some point. Um, and here I'm hanging my stockings. Do you have particular stockings that you get at your house? We have a very particular theme to our stockings. Just stay tuned, you'll see it in a minute. And next I'm coming in and I'm putting on the stockings OH and then the other one says IO. Yes, all of our stockings have an Ohio State theme to them. Um, so here I'm trying to figure out where to place that top photo spot and I realized that the direction said to put the first set of papers across the middle three and three quarters inch from the bottom, which meant I had four and a quarter at the top above that sentiment square and I only had three and three quarters at the bottom so I trimmed that down so when I'm picking out my pictures I need to keep that in mind I might have more room at the top and less room at the bottom next time I probably would not follow that um, exact um, recommendation on the pattern I'd probably move it up to four inches Here's the, the final product you can see. And um, I had a flip flap that I added. There's my hot chocolate bar, pictures of my husband and I, our nativity scene as always, one of the decorations we set out, all of our Christmas uh, traditions. And the last one says Ohio State stockings. And you can see them across the mantle right there. Um, so this was a fun one to lay out. Thank you so much, Don, for the supplies and the challenges for the mystery envelope. I had a great time doing this, and I hope you will check out all of the Makers with Heart and what they did with this mystery envelope challenge. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumb up, thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Make sure you turn on all the notifications, leave a sweet comment, and share this with your crafty friends.